Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex with GuitarForce.com. Today we're going to break down Stone by Alice in Chains. Uh, this was requested by Mark, so I hope you like this lesson and uh, thank you very much for your continuous support. Uh, this is a pretty cool song. We've got this strong riff going on in the song and uh, some interesting feels. But also we have a beautiful solo which we're going to break down in this lesson as well. Uh, the uh, tabs for this lesson are going to be available at guitarforce.com for free as usual. If you're interested in purchasing the backing track for this song, uh, the links are going to be in the description box down below. Uh, also, I'm going to post links in the description box and on the screen of the uh, cover playthrough of this song if you want to check it out for the structure. And um, as far as the sound, again, I was using the uh, VST plugin Guitar Rig with the preset, uh, a custom preset I made on my own and as usual I'm going to post the picture of it on the screen for you to see. Regarding the tuning we're going to be in standard for Alice in Chains which is half a step down on all the strings but also we drop down the low E string down to D so D flat technically alright and uh, while you're checking out the picture of the preset um, of the uh, guitar rig here is my low E for your tuning reference, which is D flat basically. Alright, guys, so without further ado, let's take a listen to the intro part, then we'll come back, close up, and start the lesson. Let's have a listen. Alright, so we're going to start this by breaking down uh, the uh, sort of main riff of the song which is being played in the intro but also in the verses and it goes like this. <laughs> So here we're going to be playing everything on the low E string and we started off uh, with the band on the uh, third fret of the low E string and it's kind of fast band slow release. Then we play two times on the second fret and you can add uh, the uh, vibrato to the second note. Then we go open one two and it's uh, palm muted and then we play again open one and we slide up to the uh, third fret again and we uh, start the uh, riff from the top from the beginning okay so one more time slower goes like this okay so this is the uh, main riff of the song like I said we play this for four times in the intro and uh, while we play this there is another part um, actually we play this for eight times I'm sorry uh, and uh, in the second four times we have another fill which goes like this okay so this part we play for four times uh, and it's uh, just basically octaves a slow band uh, now I'm pretty sure that in the studio in the studio they play this on two separate guitars because it's easier to bend the notes like that so on the B string we have 11 frets and on the uh, D string we have 8th fret but you can use um, you know both notes at the same time uh, in live performances I have seen Jerry's playing actually the lower part of uh, the octave and it's just one note that he, that he plays. Okay, so 
but like I said, you know, you can play both of the strings at the same time if you feel, um, you know, comfortable with that. And uh, also, this fill is being played in other parts of the song, and uh, I'll explain where exactly. Uh, so this is practically the uh, intro part of the song, and uh, now we come to the verses, and the first verse sounds like this. So just keep in mind that uh, verse number one is uh, a little bit different from verse number two and number three structure wise. I mean the parts are practically the same. Uh, we're going to break them down all of the uh, guitars of the parts uh, but the uh, structure wise you know it's a little bit different. It's a little bit shorter the, the first verse and uh, what I would suggest you know just listen carefully to uh, the whole song you know just to um, see what they're doing. But um, in the first word, verse, again, we have, um, you know, the main riff of the song. And then uh, after we play this for four times, we come to uh, a part where we play two power chords, and it goes like this. So we kind of play the first part of the riff. After we play open one, two, we then stay on the second fret and we play the chord, which is uh, just using the uh, one finger on the uh, lower strings at the second fret. And then we play open strings, lower strings again, and it's a D chord. So we go from, um, from this on the second fret to open strings, right? And we let it ring out the chord and while the chord is uh, ringing out, we have um, the second guitar, which is playing this melody, which goes like this. Okay, so here what we do, we slide into the 14th fret of the G string, let it ring out, and then we play 12 on the B at the same time. Then we go right into the 9th fret of the G string and then again kind of let uh, the notes ring out. So while we are holding the 9th uh, fret of the G string, we then play on the B8 and on the high E10. So creating this little chord. Then we go to the 7th uh, fret of the G, 5 on B, 5 on high E, again uh, let the uh, notes ring out, and then we play 2nd fret of the G string, and then we have a little bend here on the B string from the 4th fret, half step uh, bend, and bring down to the 4th fret again, alright? So again, kind of slower, the whole melody goes like this. Okay, so this part we play every time when we go into this into this uh, D chord, and we play this melody over that. Um, now there is um, other parts uh, during the verses, and uh, while the rhythm guitar is playing the um, the main riff of the song. Uh, another guitar is playing another part which goes like this. It kind of combines the two fields. The first field that we looked at is this one, right? Octaves, B flat octaves. Um, and the second guitar, or the third guitar, if you, if you will, goes like this. Playing this melody, which is on the G string we have eight, nine, 
11, then we play on the B8, then we go back down on the G string, 11, 9, 8, and then we play on the B8, 10, 11. Okay, so slowly the whole melody goes like this. Alright, so like I said, uh, we kind of combine the two fields here. I mean, they're being played on uh, two separate guitars, obviously. The one is playing, you know, the band, and the second is... Uh, but what I did uh, on the cover, uh, I combined the two parts together. You can do that as well. So you would start with the band and then add the, the second melody. Okay, so you can combine the two fields. And um, like I said, uh, the uh, verse number one is uh, different from verse number two and three. Structure-wise, I mean, it's a little bit shorter. Um, but uh, the uh, parts are practically the same, you know, just um, listen to the song carefully and you'll be able to spot the uh, difference between the uh, verses. So practically this is the uh, rhythm guitar for, for the verses and now we come to the uh, break riff and it goes like this. Alright, so for the break riff, we're going to be playing everything again on the low E string, just single notes, and it goes like this. Open, one, two, three. And then we play open, two, three, five, six, five, two. Alright, one more time, both of the parts together, slow. So that's practically the um, uh, the break riff. Now there is a second guitar which is playing again a little fill, which is again exactly the same um, two notes, the octaves that we played uh, during the verses and also in the uh, intro part. Uh, but instead of uh, playing the band, it just plays single notes like that, hidden them twice, two eighth notes. And, um, you know, if you want to incorporate this into one guitar, uh, you can actually play instead of uh, right here in this position, you can switch to the, um, the G string and the high E. So on the G is going to be on the third fret and on the high E sixth fret. And it's, um, we change in places because it's easier to play it like that if you play the riff as well. And also, stru structure wise, this fill comes on to the uh, in the end of the riff every second time th that we play riff all right so slowly uh, in context with the riff is going to be like this like that all right so like i said every second time in the end of the riff you can add this fill as well now we play this break riff um, up until the solo and uh, we're going to take a look at the solo uh, in the next part uh, but uh, for the rhythm guitar I just want to outline the chords that are being played during the solo uh, and it's, uh, it goes like this Okay, so here we start off with uh, the, uh, which is going to be playing power chords. Um, so we start with B, 
then we play it one more time and we go to C. Now um, I know that uh, Jerry likes to use the uh, C at 9, this chord, and it sounds to me that he uses that during the, um, the solo. So instead of just the uh, power chord C, you can play the C at 9. Like that. And then we move from C power chord to D and then to E. Alright, so this is the first part. One more time. For the second part, again, we play B. Then, if you want to, you can play just the A power chord and going from C again to D to E. But uh, what I can hear is um, he's playing B, then again B to A, and then adds the C9 again, C at 9, like that. So it would be like that. And then he takes C uh, power chord to D to E. All right, so these are the two alternate uh, progressions and uh, after that he plays again the first one and then in the end of the solo we have two power chords again so it's a D just open strings and then he goes into uh, the straight you know the uh, A power chord and that's how the uh, the progression ends during the solo all right so now let's take a look uh, let's take a listen to the solo itself and in the next part we're going to break it down. So the first part of the solo, a few licks together go like this. Okay, so here what we do, we slide on the G string into the 9th fret. And then we play 11, 12, 11, 9, 12, 11. Add some vibrato, then the next phrase, which is again pick the uh, G string at the 11th fret, then we go on to D, 12 to 9. Next part, which is uh, we pick the uh, 9th fret of the D string again, go into A string 12, and then we have this legato lick, which is uh, played on the A string, and we play 10 to 12 to 10, pull a hammer on, pull off, slide to 9, then we uh, play the uh, 10, 9 again and slide to 7. Like that, alright? So all of the um, licks from the first part together slowly go like this. Second part of the solo. Alright, so the first two phrases are exactly the same as in the, uh, in the first part. Right, these two. And then the next part. Uh, so here what we do, we slide on the G string into the 9th fret again. And then we are uh, holding it as a, um, uh, you know, constant note. Um, like a pedal note and then all of the uh, rest of the notes are going to be played against it so you know you have to make um, the notes ring out so 9 on G and then we play on B 7 8 7 
then pick the G string again. Then we play 10 on B, back to 9 on G. And then the last note is going to be on a high E string 7th fret. So one more time. Then add some vibrato with whammy bar. Okay, and uh, after that, sort of second part of the solo goes like this. Alright, so here we have a bend. It's either uh, pre-bend release, like that, or you can do the uh, bend. Uh, so, um, on the high E string, 17th fret, either pre-bend it or bend it. Pull off to 14, then we go on to the B string 15, 16th fret of the G. And on the G string we then go to 12 to 11. Add some vibrato, then the next phrase. So we play 9 to 11. Then we have a bend and release half step on the 11th fret G string. Back to 9, onto the D string 12th fret. And then we play on the G string 9 to 11, on B 10 to 12, and then we are back to the 9th fret of the G. Alright, so uh, again the uh, second part slowly goes like this. Alright, so this is the second part of the solo. And then we go into the next one, which is uh, going to be using some um, harmonics, and it goes like this. So, the uh, harmonics part is going to start off on the uh, high E string, 7th fret. Then we play on G5, and then on uh, B7 and uh, try to make the last two uh, harmonics uh, ring out so we have this sound right and then we have so on the seventh fret we have B string, G string, D string and then pull up on the uh, whammy bar and bring it back down on the last harmonic and then the last one is going to be on uh, the uh, D string, 5th harmonic, 5th fret. And we have a gradual bend pull up on the uh, whammy bar. And in the end you can add some vibrato. Alright, so one more time. Sorry, one more time. And then we have a sort of slide and uh, just playing open strings, uh, G and B for example. And pull up on the bar gradually and then you can dive bomb the, all of the strings. You know, it's a gradual bend and release. And that's basically how the, so the, uh, so uh, the solo ends. Alright, so now I'm going to play the solo, all of the licks together, uh, without stopping, but slower. It goes like this.
All right, guys, so this brings us to the end of this lesson. Thank you very much for checking it out. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please hit the thumbs up button. Also, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar-related stuff. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy, and as always, let the force be with you.